Ah, sleeping. We surely love to sleep. It's one of life's greatest pleasures. We spend a significant portion of our lives sleeping, and at first, it seems to be a waste of time, right? But it is nothing of the sort. Sleeping is definitely more than necessary. But have you ever asked yourself what would happen if you stopped sleeping? The science of sleep is not as advanced as other sciences. We still know relatively little about why we sleep and how our sleep patterns evolved. However, we do know that the consequences of sleeping for only 5 or 6 hours a night could be catastrophic for our health. As chronic sleep deprivation is related with critical conditions, such as obesity, cardiovascular issues, depression, and brain damage. It is clear that sleeping is good, but remember that oversleeping can also be detrimental for your health. Now, in regards to the question about what would happen if we stopped sleeping completely, well, after the first night without sleeping, our mesolimbic system will be very stimulated and our dopamine will be sky high. At first we would feel a lot of extra energy and motivation, like a hyperactive rabbit. However, although that sounds like an ideal situation, in reality our brain will start failing. We will feel more lethargic and our cognitive and perceptive functions will gradually get worse. After two days without sleeping, our body will lose the ability to metabolize glucose normally and our immune system will start malfunctioning. And after three days without sleeping, we might start experiencing hallucinations. The most recent Guinness record for the person who has stayed awake the longest belongs to the British man Tony Wright, who stayed awake for 266 hours straight. Wright experienced concentration and perception issues and became very irritable, but surprisingly, he didn't suffer long-term health issues after this experience. In fact, no individual under these conditions has experienced long-term medical, physiological, neurological, or psychiatric issues. There are very few studies about this, so it doesn't mean that sleep deprivation can't be problematic in the long term. Many people believe that our brains disconnect while we sleep, but that's not true at all. There are parts of the brain that become more active while we sleep than when we're awake, and some of them work to help us remember the previous day's events, as well as consolidate new information. The rest of the body also experiences many changes while we sleep. For instance, children and teenagers grow more when they're sleeping than when they're awake. Also, while we sleep, our body repairs any minor injuries it has suffered throughout the day. A good night's sleep allows us to be better at problem solving, to have a better mood, to be better at sports, to be more fun, and many studies even say that lack of sleep negatively affects our appearance, as people who don't sleep well enough look less healthy and less attractive than people who sleep well. Insomnia is common in some people, but there's a disorder called fatal family insomnia, which causes the progressive deterioration of our sleep, producing hallucinations, dementia, and finally death. Fortunately, this is a rare disorder, which has only affected around 100 people in the world, but their life average once they experience it has been around 18 months. Sleeping well helps you stay healthy and happy, and although a bit of lack of sleep will not kill you, you can be sure that not sleeping well will have negative effects on your body. Thus, make sure that you sleep enough, but don't overdo it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode.